Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rexfinds TV. I'm Melanie Reese. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, December 12, 2022. Now let's take a moment to breathe with a brain break. Now let's see what's happening in Today in History with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Patriots, in today's history on December 12, 1955, the first prototype was patented by British engineer Christopher Cockrell. Christopher Cockrell was an English engineer that made a huge impact on the modern vehicles we have today. A hovercraft is a vehicle or craft that travels over land or water on a cushion filled with air. This happens by fans on the vehicle creating pressurized air, causing it to move downwards. Have you ever wondered if the hovercraft actually hovers? Well, it does. The fans give off so much force that it lifts off the ground and starts hovering. I don't know about you, but after hearing this story, I definitely want to ride a hovercraft. Now let's check in with Hadassah for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is pasta penne alfredo, breadstick, turkey and cheese sandwich, baby carrots, ranch, diced peaches, and your toast and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain French toast. No, tomorrow's breakfast. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain French toast, syrup, graham crackers, fresh orange, 100% apple juice, assorted cereal, and your toast and milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hudasa. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, this quarter of sectional software challenge is coming to an end in 11 days. This challenge is coming to an end soon, so let's keep passing those lessons. Make sure to look at the flyer to see what's required. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. The color run is coming up on the 15th and 16th. If you haven't signed up for our Epic Sports Fun Day Plus Color Run fundraiser, you still have time. Tell your parents to register you so you can participate in the sports stations. And to participate in the color run, raise $30. Use the description below to register. This is sure to be a fun day. The holiday shop has finally come into town. It's opening from now until December 20th. Take a look at the schedule to see when it's your time to shop. Now let's watch this video to learn a little bit about the holiday shop. Hey Patriots, we're here to let you know the holiday shop has finally opened. So, Chanel, what do you think about the holiday shop opening? I think it's awesome, but I don't know what to get my family and friends. Don't worry, we got you.
Christmas Patriot. We wish you a Merry Christmas and such happiness in the coming year. Happiness in the coming year. Set the halls up bright. Shoot all look for tight. Ornaments for the tree. The flower and the pretty light. A mocha when they wake up. And the flashlight for the Wow, I can't wait for my turn to shop. Teachers, you're all invited to participate in the annual holiday door decoration contest. All entries are due on December 20th, and winners from first through third place will be announced. Time to be creative with the doors. Patriots, let's keep participating in all this fun December activities. Tomorrow, December 13th, we're all white for Blizzard Whiteout Day. Let's make the school look snowy. Students, the Patriots store is open every morning. You can spend your hard-earned Patriot dollars on some cool items. Tomorrow is third and fourth graders. Turn to the shop. Make sure to bring your tickets. The Ugly Sweater Party is coming up, Patriots. It will be on December 16th from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. There will be music, food, games, and prizes. Today, December 12th, is the last day to pay if you want to come. Now let's look what the weather is looking like today with Sophia. Thanks, Melanie. Hey Patriots, today's weather will be 83 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Take this chance to have some fun in the sun. In other weather news, this bug definitely got stuck in an icy situation. In Shelly, Idaho, a deer was trapped in a frozen waterway. In places like Idaho where temperatures can reach as low as 14 degrees, it's not unusual for ponds, lakes, and waterways to freeze over. After a few people saw this bug struggling, they were quick to help. As you can see, the bug made it out safely and ran out to the stone. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Sophia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. The holidays are around the corner, and you know what that means. It's time to begin baking and making your favorite holiday treats. Today's Gingerbread Man House Day, so you can build your little friend a house. I can't wait to get home and make one. They may seem fun, but it's a struggle to keep together. Speaking of the holidays, only two more weeks of school until winter break. And don't worry, these upcoming weeks aren't going to be boring either, with the Winter Spirit Week still ongoing. Hopefully it doesn't go by too quickly like the weekends. After a long wait, Avatar 2's release date has finally been confirmed. The movie will be released this week, Friday. After a long wait, Avatar 2's release date has finally been confirmed. The movie will be released this week, Friday. Jake Sully joined the Navi tribe on planet Pandora, and a familiar problem rises again to finish what they started. The real question is, is this movie going to be interesting? Well, we have been waiting 13 years. Speaking of Friday, who's excited for the color run? I know I am. The color run is on Thursday and Friday. If you don't want to get your hair covered in color dust, make sure to wear a bag. The amount of kids with blue in their hair are going to look crazy for the ugly sweater dance. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Hendrick for the birthdays. Thanks, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Ashley Andrade, Malachi Loriston, Elijah Ambrose, Somari Benjamin, Letizia Mangione, and Dwayne Mullen. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hendrick. Patriots, here are your packs expectations. And represent, present yourself positively, act kindly to others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Newton, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Iandine Kwa, and Ms. Merkel. You all had the correct answers to Friday's Daily Challenge. Which man should be arrested? The correct answer was the man with no luggage. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! What does a house wear? Teachers, Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When is it be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!